Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yet another Farming Center 19 Mod Contest Spotlight, where today we're going to be looking at something a bit interesting, um, and a bit unusual. Now I'm going to skip over a mod that I haven't looked at yet, do do do, and uh, oh dear. <laughs> we're looking at the Palox pack, and for some reason it's very, very, extremely jittery in the shop and not at all impressed. Let's get the sod of fertilizer and just see if jitters around in here. No, it just seems to have a mild a mild disagreement with the shop. So that is the fill trigger version. There is also a shovel version that doesn't spawn into the shop for some reason, but it is there. Um and is empty. So I'm presuming the fill trigger version is it's full already and acts as a fill trigger, the shovel version is one that you can fill yourself. Um, and it also comes with, over in MISC, it's not in MISC, where the heck is it? Is it in wheel loaders? No. Telehandlers? Yes, it's in telehandlers. A pallet fork that... It isn't very smoothly shaded on the back, I notice. You can see, or I can see, there's a a distinct gradient in place, and I'm wondering what's causing it. Um, it does appear to be um, textured as opposed to having a material on it, just at a glance. Um, I'm wondering if it's just the shadows going wonky because it's in the shop. Let's get it in. See, even in black, that weird gradient appears. I don't know why there's two different choices of grey. One, they appear to be almost identical. I think one's slightly lighter. And uh, we get that colour of grey on the, the attaches as well. Um, I'm going to need to get myself a telehandler for which... I'll get the Massey. Just grab it real quick there. So in terms of modelling... I'm going to be honest, you can't really go too wrong by making a box. <laughs> um, it's a very simple thing to make, and if you go wrong making a box, you need to really consider your choices with modding. Um, I am liking the fill level here, and like nice little extra details like the... I'm guessing there's supposed to be metal, maybe the supports on the outside of the box just for rigidity. Um, in terms of the pallet fork, is that weird gradient still there? No, it's not. That was a weird lighting effect localized to the shop. So I'm glad I didn't mark. I, I'm glad I didn't um, like complain immediately about it. Um, so let's see how, how it works, because it's kind of interesting. Oh, the gradient is just giant's lighting being weird. Okay. Because it's appearing on the other side now, and it's the exact, it's almost an identical gradient, and it's just giant's lighting being a bit weird and screwy. Let's lift up the empty box, because I don't want to, um, run the risk of, like, spilling solid fertilizer everywhere. So it... That loads up really nicely, and you can just strap it on. That is excessive amounts of strapping. Holy cow, that's not going anywhere ever. Like, you could... Yeah, you could drive around like this, and it, that is not going anywhere. It is most definitely strapped on. Um... <laughs> there are quite a few straps. I am liking how, in essence, it is... Is it using... No, it is not! Aha! That's really smart. It's not actually using the normal pallet mechanics where there's little holes in it. That you gotta try and get the, um, the forks through. You just kind of bring the forks over and roughly line up and there you go, you gotta lift it. And it's not, like it's not nailed down, you can bounce it around a bit and you can get away with it. And the way that it stays took the the power fork is by you strapping it down. That I like. I really like that idea. Um, out of curiosity, I'm now going to do something stupid. 
Uh, let's just put this box over here for a second. I want to do one stupid thing that I am most likely going to regret, especially if it works. Uh, so I'm going to grab the fill trigger box, which I'm kind of curious if it'll show as being full. Or what, what, what this is going to show up as. It's not showing up as anything, okay. And I'm going to bring this out over here into the field that I don't plan on using again. Because I have a sneaking suspicion I can pour it out. Or not, as it turns out. Okay, that's perfectly fine by me. Uh, one thing you can do as well if you really, really want to is tension belted to the front of the, the uh, paddle fork and have the most unstable drive in history. Um, I don't quite know why you'd want to do that, but it's good for, I guess, picking stuff up. If it's fallen over and you can't quite get the uh, paddle fork under it. There is one more thing I want to try and I'm going to get another empty box for this. Um, just because the other two are now set up for thumbnail and I'm feeling particularly lazy. Um, I want the shovel version. Okay. And... I'm just going to set this down for a thumbnail as well. There will do. And I also want to buy, somewhat naturally, a shovel. Now, I have quite a lot of straw set over there. I'm curious if I can put straw into the box. Because it does say shovel and it doesn't... It might be just for potatoes, but I'm kind of curious. Let's pick up roughly a shovel worth of straw. And this is why I'm using a new box for it, because I can if it does work I can at least delete the box. Um so can I put straw into the box? I'm not expecting this to work at all. I <laughs> what that actually works? I'm very pleasantly surprised by the fact that EDC actually works. I want to verify this. Independent ver- well, I say independent. Verification time, because I want to kind of get rid of the rest of this straw as well. Um, <laughs> I want to verify this works, because if, if so, that's a kind of awesome way of transporting things. And it, theoretically, actually, I've just thought it could save on uh, machinery you might need to buy. Okay, some of the straw is throwing a bit of a hissy fit at the moment. All of the straw is throwing a bit of a hissy fit at the moment, and I'm not entirely sure why. Why are you not wanting to go into my bucket? Um, so while we're doing this, I want, I want to rate the mod. And I'm going to start by explaining my rating system. It's a five-step system with little mini-steps in between. You know, I can decimalize if I really want to. Um, one... It is basically it doesn't work but it at least loads into the game obviously it can go below one if it doesn't load into the game um, or partially loads into the game I guess um, two is it loads in but it has issues uh, one is also for it has like huge massive problems I'll usually go for a decimal of one because it's at least loaded into the game um, 
two is it loads in but it's got minor issues or has modeling issues or something like that. Three is it is Giants quality. Um, it's something that I would expect to see from Giants. It does exactly what it says on the tin and not much more. It, you know, is a bog standard mod that does exactly what you'd expect of it, but not very much more. Four is a mod that does everything you'd expect of it and then some. It, this is a kind of a four... Well, anywhere between three and five, really, is it does what Giants does very well. It takes it to the next step, and I kind of put all of that in that spectrum. Um, uh, but for a solid four, just a plain four, is it's got a cool script that I like. It does exactly what it want, what you think it will do, and more. It's very easy to understand. It has an amazing model it you know that there's a few different things that can get it into a four but it's it's a step above or maybe even two steps above and then you've got five which is basically unattainable which is it will completely change the way that you play the game um an example of a mod that i'd rate a five is seasons that's the highest standard that is a it's not perfect in my system. You might notice that I'm not using the word perfect for anything. A perfect mod, in theory, is a 3. <laughs> but, um, in my system, it, it, after it works exactly as you'd expect, which in theory is perfect, it goes beyond what you'd expect. It does something extra. And Seasons and a 5 is just, it is a complete and utter game changer that changes the way you want to play Farm Sim uh, from that point onwards. This mod here is a 3.5. Um, I don't think I could see Giants making it. If I'm being very honest. Uh, it is something that is really quite different. Uh, and I like the fact you can put whatever the hell you want into the empty box. Into the shovel box. That is a really cool idea. I have no idea how you empty the shovel box, but it's a cool idea that you can put whatever you like in. Um, the fill trigger box is another cool idea. It's kind of a replacement for big bags in a way. Um, I feel like something like this would look really neat on like a, a Swiss Alps kind of map, on a, an Alpine uh, kind of area kind of map. Um, it's let down a small bit, in my opinion, and it is just my opinion, by honestly how how weird, in a way, the modeling looks on on the fork. Um, like the corners are very difficult to notice, even with a light on them when you're looking at it, and everything just seems bizarrely like oddly smooth it's like somebody just took sandpaper to a power fork and just kept smoothing until it was until like no solid edges were really visible anymore um that said i do really like this mod it is let down a bit by the weirdness of the fork itself um but that could be the color that i've chosen is causing that weirdness which is why I'm not really attracting um, a whole lot from it. I love the idea behind this. It is a really nice idea, a really cool idea. Um, and yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Really nice mod. I'll probably use it in the future at some point. Um, until then, and until next time, stay safe. And goodbye.